Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you guys the camp locator, the pole, and the uh, pole holder that I use on my toy hauler that I've used in the past. I've, I've made a video a couple weeks back of a night ride we did, and I showed off the uh, camp locator with the LED on the pole, and um, a lot of people asked me about it, so I've already you know, answered some of those guys on Instagram over DM, but a lot of you guys on YouTube have also asked me, and I appreciate it. I always want new ideas for the videos, um, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm using, what pole I'm using, what um, camp locator LED I'm using, and the pole uh, holder that I went with, and how I set it up, the functions of the LED camp locator, the control, the colors you could go through, and pretty much how I wired it. I'm not gonna go through the process um, step by step how to wire it, but I will show you how I ran the wires, where I ran them to, and how it's wired. So let's get to that now. All right, so let's first start off with the pole holder. This is made by Poles and Holders. There will be a link in the description. They have a bunch of different ways to uh, set up your pole. This is the one I chose because I could mount it to the frame rail here and it would be straight up. They have some that attach to the ladders. I don't have a ladder on this trailer, so I can't, couldn't do that. They have others that attach to um, cargo style trailers. So there's different options. I'm gonna leave a link for the pole and holder that I use. This one so far has been pretty good. We used it at Johnson Valley also. It was really windy the night we arrived and it did actually fairly good. So um, next is gonna be the pole. The pole, again, is made by poles and holders. So shout out to those guys. By the way, this whole setup was given to me, not given to me, but like the idea and the links were all given to me by Steve-O. Um, he, he supports the channel and I appreciate you, brother. I'm gonna leave a link to his Instagram. Go follow him. He's got a badass OG mad that he's fixing up. Um, so yeah, thanks, Steve-O. So anyways, this pole made by poles and holders is the 22 foot version. And I'm gonna show you guys that now. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out of the package. All right, so on to the pole. The pole is made by poles and holders, like I said, and it's one of the fiberglass type poles that you pretty much pull and twist to get a nice tight fit. And you keep doing that, and it's about, I wanna say six or seven sections. You can see how high it's going. And that's it, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's seven sections. Now the bottom section, one and two, three. Three of the sections actually have holes so you can put pins through them. Uh, the pins do come in here. I've actually never used the pins and it hasn't collapsed on me, but it is a good safety measure. So a pretty dope pole. Um, we'll go ahead and hang this in just a second. First, I'm gonna put it back down because I'm gonna put the camp locator on there. All right, so next is gonna be the camp locator. Uh, this is a camp locator made by Whiptech. And uh, don't pay attention to any of this duct tape right here. Um, I had to repair this because um, I had a little mishap that you guys should be aware of if you do buy this setup um, because it could happen to you. It was accidental. It's not a design flaw. Um, so this is the Whiptech LED uh, camp locator. Um, it comes with an RGB uh, controller. It is not Bluetooth. It is just IR blast. So at the very end here, there's an IR blaster or a receiver. And here's the IR blaster um, transmitter. And um, yeah, you can do different colors and I'm gonna show you guys this as soon as it gets a little bit darker. Uh, but first we gotta wash the trailer. So I think I'll hook this up right now just to show you guys the colors uh, up, in cl up close and personal. And then later on towards the night, we'll put it up in the air and I'll uh, show you guys what that looks like at night. All right, so I have mine set up. So the wiring is right underneath the uh, pole holder mount. I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up here. I'll get to the wiring in just a second. First, let's get to the colors on the, um, the cap locator. So the cap locator, I have it set to blue. This is almost the color that I always keep it at because I do the same thing with my car. I leave it on blue. Um, when you want to use the controller, you have to aim it at the IR blaster. So that's why I left the wiring here nearby so I could just mount it and then, you know, choose my colors here at the corner. It's not like a Bluetooth or wireless. You can't just walk away and use the color wherever. You have to kind of aim it, which is not a big deal. You're not going to be doing this often, just kind of choosing the color you want. So you can choose all sorts of colors, as you can see. So you can make it flash, flash white. There's a fade you could do, which changes the colors. Dang, I haven't really looked into the DIY. I'm assuming you can make some presets. I don't really use those. You can't choose between jumping like this or fading like this. And then mostly just the solid colors and then the flash, which is a white. So it's pretty dope. Um, so far I've been pretty happy with this. I'm gonna show you guys in a second 
um, what the issue was here, and then I'll go on to showing you the wiring where I wired it. All right, so the issue I had with the wiring on this uh, WebTech LED camp locator was not their fault, it's mostly um, storing it and putting it away as a user. So when you have your camp locator here that just fits on here pretty snugly, um, and it just has, doesn't come off. I, like I said, I had it at Johnson Valley. It was super windy and it didn't come off. Um, the only thing that I did notice when it's super windy is it was swaying back and forth, kind of scary, but it didn't come off and I left it overnight. It was fine. And there were some pretty gnarly winds. Um, the problem I had with the wiring, the wiring got damaged. And I'm gonna show you very close to where the mount meets the fiberglass. It got damaged right here. And the reason it got damaged is when I was putting this away, I should have put or I should have took off the LED whip off before I started folding this in. And when I started pulling this in, this other piece of fiberglass, it's the next section down, hit the wiring. And you can see there, it doesn't hit it, but then if you keep going down and you're not paying attention, the next one will hit it. And, and so, so forth. Eventually it got to the point where it damaged the wiring right at the base and I had to take the actual um, whip apart. Now, I took it apart myself and I fixed it myself, but I did contact them and they said they would fix it for me. Uh, so that's good customer service, but I did it myself. So that's just something you gotta look out for. You don't wanna take this down and um, you know you could damage the wiring. It's always best to at least lower from the bottom half. And then once you get to this point, you know, take this whip off and be careful with the wiring, you don't damage it. So to give you enough slack, um, these 22 feet of a uh, pole, I can extend it all the way. So from down here, I can extend it all the way and it reaches. So that pretty much means that I could have put this uh, cap locator, you know, as high as I wanted and it would still reach versus, you know, having to put the wiring right next to the mount. So I'm pretty happy that they give you enough wiring. It's actually pretty cool. It's uh, covered up and so far it's been pretty good. I've used it about four or five times and it hasn't given me any issues and it's, you know, works really well tonight. All right, the wiring. Um, I got asked about the wiring and I'm gonna tell you right now, this is live positive battery and ground at all times so there is no switch it's pre pretty much always on and the reason it's always on is because you know it's not like this is going to always be connected you know if i disconnect it that's it if i connect it it's that's my on switch and the wiring for this is fused and i'm gonna show you guys where i ran it um i did cover this all up with nylon just so it looks nice i don't want to have no bare wires showing anywhere here but the wiring pretty much just goes and follows the frame rail all the way to the front um, nothing special, just zip tie it in place. I did cover it up with some conduit, but it goes all the way to the front where my battery disconnect switch is at. And where my battery disconnect switch is at, um, you'll see here that there's a positive cable with an eyelet, and I pretty much just grabbed a power wire uh, eyelet and I put it on there and I just made sure it was fused. You can see here I got a 15 amp, which is actually probably too much I should probably lower it to a 10 amp just in case I do have a short but um, I put a 15 amp fuse and the wiring pretty much just goes to um, the positive battery so it's always on unless I hit the disconnect switch and it can turn off so pretty much if your trailer is being stored and you have the switch in the off position then there will, won't be any power back there but if you want the um, trailer to have power then your camp locator connection will have power uh, same goes for my rock lights my rock lights are on the same circuit uh, it's nothing special it's just pretty much running wire from the front of the trailer all the way to the back and just make sure you run a fuse i'll probably recommend a 10 amp fuse or even a 5 amp i mean leds don't take up a lot of power so let's go ahead and mount the pole up on the roof and then i'll show you guys um what that looks like all right first things first we're gonna pull out the skinny one first And you can see right there, it's already pretty high in the air, um, but I wanted it as high as possible, which this was my mistake, so don't make the same mistake I did. I put it way too high, and then I realized that this trailer doesn't have a ladder, so I do struggle to put this pole on, up there. I actually had to back the Can-Am uh, against the trailer, stand on the X3, and then put the camp locator up there. So I'm looking to get a uh, ladder for this uh, toy hauler. If you have a ladder, and I guess you won't have the issue, you can just climb on the roof. Now, right now I'm at home, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna climb on the roof, and I'll put that on there. Babe, can you hold this? Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> you can move it around. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty secure on there. Look at that. All right, so it's all wired up. The uh, camp locator and the pole are fully extended. Now we're saying the pole is 22 feet and the locator is about two feet long. And it's about, I don't know, what do we say? 12 feet from the roof. Uh, from there, it'll probably be about 8 feet. 8 feet, 30 feet, 32 feet. I would say it's 32 feet in the air from the floor. And it's, uh, you know, it's the best you could get as far as, you know, visibility. I'm sure there's brighter ones out there maybe. I don't know. But um, this is the one we use. And so far, it's actually been really, really good. So the camp locator, along with the rock lights, do a great job as far as uh, locating camp when you're out riding. Um, so before we show you guys some more footage of the, uh, you know, the lights, we'll let it get a little bit darker. Meanwhile, we're going to wash the trailer because it's been a while and it's hella dirty. Check this out. That's nasty. So remember, whip tech for the camp locator and for the pole and the mount, poles and holders. I'll leave links to all three of the items uh, in the description. So check them out. So let's get to washing the stuff. We're using the shine supply soap that my boy Timmy got us. And look out for that video. We're going to do a shine supply video for uh, UTVs. So let's review. We got the uh, WhipTech camp locator at the very top, 22 feet of uh, fiberglass pole from poles and holders. Also, we got the rock lights from x -Bright. I'm gonna turn those on right now. So those of you that don't watch my channel, this is the setup I have when I'm out at night. That's the camp locator that I use. Those are the x -Bright rock lights. And here is the uh, WhipTech controller they give you and you can change the colors from here so let's check it out all right so it's kind of hard to see so i'm gonna go ahead and sign off we'll see you guys next time check out the drone footage i'm gonna put the drone in the air so you guys can see the whip tech camp locator and thanks for watching as always and if you haven't subscribed subscribe to the channel also if you're interested on the x brights rock lights i did an install video so i'll leave a link in the description for those and i'll also leave a link in the description to the rockford fosgate stereo that i put in this toy hauler because it makes a world of difference and it makes the uh trader more enjoyable when you're out in the desert so check out those videos and check out the footage thanks for watching see you guys next time